In this video, I want to demonstrate how to use the line sketching tool to create the sketch as shown here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to start a new part. So I can push Control N on my keyboard. I can go File, New, or I can come over here to the Sketch ribbon and select New. The parts highlight it by default, and that's what I want to create as a new part, so I'm going to say OK. And SolidWorks will open up a blank part and give it a default name. So next, I want to create a sketch. All part features start with a sketch. So I need to choose a plane to sketch in, and I can work in the front, top, or right plane, or create a new plane. But for now, I want to work in the front plane. So I'm going to click on it in the feature tree. Then I'm going to come over here and tell I want to make a sketch in the front plane. And sketch will be active now. So we can see how the sketch ribbon is active. And I'm looking normal to the plane. And remember, I always want to work relative to my origin. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch a center line. To activate center line, I'm going to come up here to the sketch menu, choose the drop down arrow beside line, and tell it I want to make a center line. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to click on the origin. I'm just going to move straight down and I'm going to click to create my center line. To stop creating a center line, I'm going to push escape. So a couple of things we'll notice here that the center line is coincident with the origin. That's what this relationship is telling me. If I don't want to see relationships, I can come up here to the all seeing eye and say, don't show them. But when you're first starting out, you need to become familiar with them and you often want to leave their visibility on. So I'm going to come back here and choose the drop down menu and tell it to show me relationships and then I'll click in white space. So the other relationship we now have is a vertical relationship. So it tells me this line is vertical and you'll notice how the sketch has gone black except for the endpoint, which is blue. So I can drag it up or I can drag it down and I can zoom in and out. And down here, it tells me my sketch is fully defined. When items are fully defined, they'll change from blue to black in SolidWorks. But the endpoint is still blue. That's okay because the length of a center line doesn't matter. A couple other things I want to point out. If I click on this entity, we'll notice over here under options, it's for construction. So I'm just going to click in white space. I'm going to select it one more time. And over here, when I first select it, I also have the option of changing it for construction or not construction geometry by clicking here. And now it's back to a solid line and my sketch is no longer defined because the line length isn't defined. So I'm going to select it one more time and I'm going to change it to construction geometry. So next I want to create the lines as shown in this sketch. So I'm going to control tab back to my other document and I need to activate the line tool. Again, I can come up here and activate the line tool or I would encourage you to get used to using mouse gestures. So again, to use mouse gestures, I'm going to right click and hold my mouse and then move it. And then I'll release over line and now the line tool is active. So next I want to sketch that shape. And remember, it's critical that I think about where my part is relative to the origin. And I want the top corner, top left hand corner of my part anchored to the origin. So I'm going to click on the origin and I'm going to move across. And when we're sketching in SOLIDWORKS, we want to pay attention to several things. Don't worry about the length of the entity. That'll all be fixed later. What we're worried about is the rough shape and any relationships we're going to add. So as I move across, you can see how the angle changes. And as I move up a little bit, you should notice how the yellow highlighted horizontal relationship has disappeared. And slowly move back down. And we can now see right beside my pencil, which is my mouse, it shows me I have the line tool active. And because the horizontal line is shown in yellow, it's telling me if I click, which I'll now do, the horizontal relationship will be added as shown here. So now I'm going to move straight down. And again, it's showing me if I click, the vertical relationship will be added as shown here. So again, I want a horizontal line. I want to pay attention to the relationships. Because what I don't want here, if I come across slowly, is I don't want this locked to the midpoint of that. So I'm going to back up a bit so that goes away. However, if I click here, because the vertical relationship to the midpoint is shown not in yellow, but just white around it, it won't be added. It's just telling me I am at the halfway point. But I'm still going to pay attention to the relationship. So I'll back up a bit and click. And now I want to make a vertical line. So again, I have that vertical line. I'm going to click. And then kind of come over here a bit. I want to make a horizontal line. I'll click. And once again, I'll just come down. I want a vertical line. I'm going to click to create it. 
and I'm going to come across to the center line and I want to make sure I'm above the center line so it's longer than my horizontal line. So now we'll notice two relationships. The center line is orange and I have a coincident relationship. This is telling me if I now click, which I'll do, I'll add not only the coincident relationship, but also the vertical. And then to close the sketch off, I'm going to come up here and click on the origin again. You'll notice the line sketching tool is still active, but the shape is closed. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and I could keep sketching lines, but I'm done with this. So I'm going to push escape. And then the next video, we're going to come and we're going to examine this part. And we're going to talk about what we see before we continue on.